Code signal. Arcade. Databases. Combinations lock. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving combination lock from code signal. Let's begin. So we return from vacation. We have a bunch of combinations. We're given a table called disks. It has um, a unique ID, characters, and the color of the disk. So we want to calculate the total number of all possible combinations that the lock has and return it as a table that only has one column called combinations and one row. So for example, we have a bunch of characters for these this table and the total combinations is 24 because the number of characters in code is 4, number for bytes is 6, 4 times 6, 24 we will implement something like this here. So to do that, we have to select the characters from the table, which is called disks. And I think we need to have, since the number of characters, we need the number of characters per disk to calculate what we need. I would say we should have par length from the characters. So now we have the character lengths. Um, so we get, when we output this one, we have four and six outputted from this table. Here comes the, <laughs> I don't think we'll actually do this in real life. It's gonna be some interesting mathematical knowledge to do this. So if, so there's this interesting math thingy that I want to show you. There's a log of A plus the log of B plus the log of C. And you exponentiate this like this. It's some mathematical weirdness. It's going to be like A times B times C. You can look it up online of how this works. Some sort of hack that you can implement in SQL because there's no direct way that you can do a product of each one along the line of all the, the product of all characters, like, you know, doing a combination thing that we're doing in the problem. So to do this here, we're gonna do it like this. So first, since we have taking the, we need to take the log of each of these characters, and now we wanna take the sum of these, cause this is what we're doing right here. We're taking the sum of all the characters in this table. So the sum of logs right here. We want to do an exponentiation of ESP. I'm not a psychic, but we want to do an exponentiation of all the logs of each value. And this will end up being the product, which is the number of combinations we're looking for. So if I do running tests, what? Huh? I think I messed up something here. Oh, one more thing to keep account. I need to round the values so that it's going to be a complete number. Ah, oh, something silly I just realized. <laughs> I left this expression down here, my example. We don't want that to interfere with the answer. Now if I run it, it's what? close. See, we have the 24 answer we're looking for, but now you notice that we have to give the, the column a name. So I'm gonna put as um, combinations. This should be enough to solve it. Boom, submit. Hey, there you go. That's pretty good. All right, guys. Hope you like this. Uh, hope this makes sense to you. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate your support, and thank you for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if you have a better way to solve this. This is a, a hacky way of doing it. SQL doesn't have that capability, but with our super smart brains, I'm sure we could find a way around that. Um, also, um. Please let me know in the comments below if there's some project ideas you'd like me to implement, some software projects like an app or anything like that. I'm personally thinking to do some devlog videos like, you know, 10 tips I'm doing this based on a movie or a cartoon. I think this future direction of stuff will be interesting and I always want to do that because I love movies. Anyways, guys, see you later.